You know, young rich niggas. You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money though. <laughs> hey, raindrops, drop top, drop top, top smoking no cooking the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, she a dot dot dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't trust nobody with the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get gang. Call me a river, give you a tissue. Bad and bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. My niggas are savage. Bro. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. My niggas are savage. Bro. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. All set. Backers, I'm back as I'm riding around in a cool, cool. I take your beat right from you, you. Bitch, I'm a dog, woo. Beat the whole walls, loose. Hey. Hop in the frog, woo. Sure. I tell that bitch to come come for me. Come for me. I swear these niggas is under me. Hey. That hate and the devil keep jumping me. Jumping me. Back rolls on me, keep me company. Cash. Hey, we did the most, most. Yeah, pull up and goes. Woo. Yeah, my diamonds are choker. Wow. Holding the fire with no holster. Wow. With the ruler, diamond. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog, um, episode, episode 6 of my Mark III R32 build. Um, as you can see in the beginning, we were taking out the, uh, we had removed the intake manifold, taking out the coil packs and the spark plugs, which just look awful. Um, just kind of looking at the motor, let me give you a closer look, a little bit more detail. So, taking it off, I mean it doesn't look too bad, obviously the motor has been sitting for a while. But the beauty of it is, I mean, I can just do a couple oil changes, get all the gunk out of there, and, you know, it should be running well. Um, also, one thing that was a big, big thing for us was the these little uh, sprockets here were still the Mark IV ones, so I don't have to swap them out, which is great. But I still had the backup ones from my spare Mark IV motor, so it's less work for me. I can leave it there. I don't have to remove the chains or any of that stuff. Um, if the previous owner told me the motor had about 80,000 miles, so I'm still debating if I want to change the uh, rear main seal, but you know, it's still debatable. It's such an easy part, but maybe I should, you know, one less thing for me to do. Uh, let's see, moved a lot of the water pipes, um, things like that. So I'm going to be replacing it with a, a metal coolant pipe. I'm still debating if I want to do an aluminum thermostat housing or just go with the plastic one just because it's so expensive I mean I don't want to pay 250 bucks for one piece when I can get it for like 30 bucks and you know usually it's the o-ring seal that fails not so much the plastic part but um, yeah so we'll see in terms of budget I'm um, looking at my parts over here so there's my R32 fuel rail with the return line as you can see um, there's the mark IV valve cover I actually picked up a Porsche oil cap that I had on my mark IV, which I'm no longer using I'm gonna end up putting it on this project um, the mark IV exhaust manifolds um, got some like bits and hoses power steering pump see if I can use that if not I'll use the one off of the mark III um, little by little just getting rid of parts um, there's the manifold I'll probably clean up I'm thinking of maybe powder coating it but We'll see. Again, I want to keep it budget, so if I have the means to do it cheaply, then I will. There's my Mark IV harness, which, again, once it gets down to it, I will see where I'm gonna, you know, send it off to maybe Eurowise um, to get it spliced in for Mark III, but we will see. So that's where I'm at right now. Hoping to get some more time in right now that it's winter. It's a little bit cooler and it's a little bit easier to work. It's still California, so it's about it hit 78 today, and it's November. But uh, yeah, so the drink of choice today is the Ballast Point Aloha Sculpin IPA, which is a great IPA. I mean, it's hazy. It's an easily crushable IPA that I just absolutely love. So if you can pick it up, definitely recommend it. Um, so that's it for now. I'm signing off and hope to get a video with the next month or so. Maybe I can get some uh, holiday money and pick up some more parts. All right. Thanks, guys.
as always, uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share it if you can.